Fala galera, prazer estar aqui com vocês, eu sou o Mika, família do Flow Games, eu estou aqui ao lado do produtor de Assassin's Creed Shadows, Carl Oni. Did I say that right? Yes, correctly, <risos> you said it great. Thank you, então vou mudar aqui a tecla SAP, beleza, pra gente poder ter essa entrevista. Então, sou o Carl, thank yes. you very much for being here with us. Thanks for, for coming here. To us. Our pleasure. Say how to Brazil. Well, hello Brazil, <laughs> love. I love Rui Brasil. I went, that I went when I was younger. So. You should go. You, you're gonna love there. Sabe quem tá com a gente aqui hoje? Qual que é a boa? O Google oh, tá aqui a gente. Que legal, é, cara. o Google cara, veio o com Google. a gente nessa viagem. Nossa, que demais, é, não cara. é pouca coisa. Nossa, o Google o veio Google. com a gente nessa uhum. viagem com o Android boa. e pediu pra gente anunciar uma novidade muito legal que eles estão soltando no Android, que é o Circule pra pesquisar. É realmente Como uma é que funciona isso aí na É uma prática? função muito legal uhum. que você segura o botão no home, tá. no seu celular, e ele meio que pausa a tela uhum. e você pode circular tudo que tiver na tela uhum. e ele vai pesquisar no Google, essa coisa, Caraca. com inteligência artificial. Isso que eu ia perguntar, ele usa a inteligência artificial. Isso, ah, ele usa a inteligência música. artificial para uh -huh. reconhecer o objeto que você circulou e te recomendar algo que você queira com aquele objeto. Então, por exemplo, se eu tirar uma foto desse abajur aqui atrás de mim, eu posso circular ele e ele vai me mostrar na Amazon, onde eu comprei ele. Caraca. Ou no, na Best Buy, outro lugar que tem aqui nos Estados Unidos que eu posso comprar ele, às vezes até perto de mim. É muito útil para você. Ele já bota você. comparativo ali. Exato, ele mostra os preços, isso tudo, ele é muito útil pra você que viu alguma coisa num vídeo ou tirou uma foto não sabe o que é aquela coisa, você circula e pesquisa. E aí você tem o melhor resultado porque ele usa a inteligência artificial e ele usa o Google, que é a melhor ferramenta de busca de YouTube. Cara, que né? legal e bacana, né, Gui? Que você até comentou aqui em outros vídeos, é que ele é muito útil mesmo. Muito útil. Né? Não dia é dia só dia, você pode usar toda é hora. É realmente. Mesmo, né? E é isso que é o que a gente chama de coisa de Google, né? Que hum. essas maluquices Experimentações, que fazem né? e, e ajudam o dia a dia da pessoa. Claro. Então, vai aí no seu Android e testa no S24 Ultra, no S24 da Galaxy Samsung. Já tem essa função, vocês podem testar aí, tá bom? Então é isso. Muito obrigado, Google, por ajudar isso aqui se tornar realidade. <música> Carl, uh, we have seen the gameplay for Assassin's Creed Shadows and we know that Assassin's Creed has a huge community in Brazil, yep. all right? The books, the comics, the games, all this stuff, the dolls, you know, the collectibles. For Assassin's Creed Shadows, we could see Yasuke and Naoi yep. with whole different gameplays. She moves quickly, She's she can climb, yep. she can do a lot of things that Yasuke cannot and so the other way around. Yes. Yasuke is, is heavier in combat, we could feel the impact. He's got an armor. Yeah, of course. But I did not see him climbing Exactly, places. and that's What about point. this? Well, because as you noticed, he's got a big armor and obviously it's harder to climb. So imagine if it were, if you could see, uh, obviously this little yeah. wall. <laughs> He's gonna struggle. He's not gonna be able to to climb it. Some some places, if he goes, you know, on top of something, then he's gonna be able to climb. Mm. But a much much slower. You know, for instance, if he goes on a beam and he manages to go on the roof a bit, he's going to like be like right. you know like this uh, in yeah. terms of action, saying like, oh my god, am Trying I gonna to fall? Balance. Exactly. Uh -huh. Whereas now, eh, she's gonna be like you know, yeah. like a cat, no problem, she's faster. agile, faster. Yeah. So the thing is, when you play Yasuke. He's more like, okay, I can go head on with several enemies and really fight them and I've got an armor, so if they hit me and I'm, I get, you know, hit and so sure. on, sure. I can last longer. Sure. Now, eh, she's deadly, she's left, you know, she's lethal, but she cannot take m many hits. So if there are too many enemies, you know, your best bet is to leave. You know, you watch the demo uh, or the, uh, the presentation earlier on, you know, you're gonna say, oh, well, actually, you know, maybe it's, uh, they can do, do, do goes very well. Yeah, sure. But actually, uh, it's because obviously the people that are playing that are most of the time, uh, you know, the, the people that are making the, the, the game in terms of fight and so on, sure. they are perfect experts. So. And <laughs> now she's also great in combat, yeah. actually, but yeah, she's uh, she's weaker, exactly. of course, in relation to Yasuke. Yasuke can climb, can kind of climb buildings, but with a little more he's not gonna, Yeah, to a certain yeah. extent, obviously, He's not going to be able, for instance, you saw that uh, now he has a grappling The parkour thing, thing yeah. you know? Exactly. Yeah. So small thing is going to be able to climb, thing, but he's right. not going to be able to go really on roofs unless there is maybe nice. a ladder is going to help. To be loud you know? and clear yeah, for yeah. the people, yeah. Now, oh, he's the, the one to do that. Exactly. Because right. she's got a grappling hook, she can go to places where, you know, it's not even necessary to climb because she has what it 
what he needs. The same, you know, in stealth. Yeah. Yasuke can do some stealth. You know, he can go, he can prone to like uh, now, eh? but he's going to be a lot slower. You know, now it's sure. going to be much faster. So, you know, we really push the fantasy to show that now is the agile one. She's the third yeah. character and Yasuke is more, you know, powerful. He can, you know, like go through and break doors. We really push the, the fantasy more than, you know, we wanted to show that, like Oda Nobunaga said, this man had the strength of 10 men. He's like an army, one man army. Exactly. When we see, uh, story-wise, we see a very important moment of Japan yeah. and with a lot of weapons, a lot of uh, religious themes going on and Nobunaga, which is a legendary figure. From your perspective, what can the players expect in terms of seeing other angles of this such important moment of the Japan story? They're gonna see a lot of different things. Yes, like you said, Oda Nobunaga. You're gonna meet Oda Nobunaga. Oh, that's nice. Uh, you're gonna meet Oda Nobunaga. You're gonna meet Oda Nobunaga in the game. Uh, obviously, you know, it's about the unification. It's a time during the unification of Japan. Yeah. Many of the events uh, revolved around him. Mm -hmm. But you're also going to even explore or discover, you know, like uh, Castle Town, like the mm -hmm. Atsuchi Castle. Nice. That doesn't even exist anymore. We produced it completely. Uh, because he, he was, he was, you know, he was destroyed. Yes, you're gonna see a lot of shrines nice. uh, that's still standing nowadays. Japanese people have, you know, have really kept and, and maintained a lot of the sites, and they and they're still there. And and you know, when the team went on on uh, in Japan, they were uh, restricted by how many of them they were still, you know, sure. really in good place. But how also uh, nature mm -hmm. with uh, urbanizations, you mm -hmm. know. So this is all the kind of things that you're gonna you, you're gonna see. Uh, and obviously, you're going to see Japan from two different perspectives, from the eyes of Naue, the local, yeah, but also sure. from the, the eyes of a, Which an is outsider. an outsider, yeah. Exactly, yeah, a yeah. foreigner. Each other, Yasuke. I think I have two more questions for uh, you today. What can you tell about the skill tree? What can you tell about the upgrades you can do to both characters in terms of, you know, upgrading abilities, upgrading uh, things you can do in the world, exploration, combat-wise? What do you have for us? So the way the, the, the skill tree works or the, you know, the, the progression, basically, the progression, I would say, yeah. it's very often tied to uh, the weapons. Uh, Yasuke and Naoi have their own weapon. They're mm -hmm. not shared. So lots yeah. of the uh, the progression in the skill tree are actually tied to the weapon that, uh, and the abilities per weapon, basically. So while you progress, you're going to be able to, uh, you know, choose how you want to spend your skill points uh, on the different weapons nice. based on what you prefer, obviously. You also have a sh uh, some shared abilities between the two of them. And just what you also need to know is when you learn, when you progress with one character, you also progress with the other. But when you find loot, so uh, outfits or weapons, they are uh, dedicated to one character. Sure. So it's it depends what you find, yeah, what you have yeah. to play. Uh, so it's really, you know, down to you to, to decide. And one last question. People love to know that they always ask about that. The length of the game. Oh. If you have, if you can tell, if you have an idea of the length, I mean, doing only the main missions and the, the side stuff, the side activities stuff. How many hours do you think <laughs> people would spend playing Assassin's Creed Shadows? I would say that in terms of size, the world is very similar. Yeah. In terms of, uh, in, in terms of, if I compare to uh, Assassin's Creed Origins. Oh, nice, nice. It is big, also uh -huh. because you know when yeah. we make a game like this, we want to make sure it is huge. Actually, it yeah. is huge, yeah. but it's not just about size. It's because we want the players to feel like they were in Japan. They are in Japan. Sure. Feel to Japan. You know, sure. we want that when you you. See see the, the mountains and kind of things that it feels real, you know, that uh, because obviously if it was too small, well, first the map would be smaller and the mountains would feel like this, you know, but sure. you want them to feel like if you go to a castle town like the Asuchi uh, castle, I was saying, we want you to feel like the As atmosphere, if, visiting an iconic location. Exactly. Sure, you know, sure, so it's, sure. it's important for us for the immersion. So the size is also really there to also help us making sure that you're going to enjoy it. So. And we obviously build a narrative and content to work with this, but it's also not just about what you do, but also about contemplation, you know? Sure, yeah. We have, yeah. you know, for instance, the, the, we decided on this, on this game that animals, you're not, you're not going to kill them. 
Nice. It's a decision. It's a decision. Yeah, it's a decision. Because, you know, it's about, you know, there's about a war. Other then... important things. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, most important so things. It's about a balance, you know? Sure, and sure. I, and you know, it's something, I think, in, in Japan, you know, balance yeah, makes is something is very important, you know? Yeah, yeah. Great to know, great to know, Carl. Uh, thank you very much for the conversation. Well, it's great talking to you. Any final shout here talking to Flow Games? Any final shout to the Brazilian fans? Uh, thank you very much. I hope you will love our game. Obviously, I can't wait to show you more. Hope you're going well. Thank you. Nice. Thank you, Carl. É isso, galera. Muito obrigado aí a todos que acompanharam essa entrevista. Vamos seguir aqui nossa cobertura do Flow Games por Los Angeles. Muito obrigado a todos, galera. Um grande abraço. Eu sou o Mika. Valeu.